Creative maths brings you maths made really clear with Dr. Nick. Beginning algebra with towers. Hi, I'm Dr. Nick from Creative Maths and I love to help people learn maths and stats. In this video, you will see an example of using algebra to describe a relationship in a physical object. We are building a tower out of snap link blocks. We start with a base of eight blocks and each layer after that takes two more blocks. If our tower has a height of two blocks, then it will contain 10 blocks. If our tower has a height of three blocks, then it will contain 12 blocks. If our tower has a height of four blocks, then it will contain 14 blocks. So how many blocks will a tower of height five blocks contain? I hope you said 16. We can create a table about this tower. In the left column, we put the height and in the right column, we put the number of blocks. When the tower is only one block high, it contains eight blocks. When the tower is two blocks high, it has 10 blocks, three blocks high, 12 blocks, four high, 14, and so on. Each time that the height goes up by one, the number of blocks increases by two. If the tower needed to be 10 blocks high, how many blocks would we need? We can carry on the table to work this out we can see that we would need 26 blocks. What about if the tower is going to be 20 blocks high? This is getting a bit tedious to keep increasing the table, so we can write an algebraic expression that summarizes the relationship between the height h and the number of blocks b. The number of blocks equals two times the height of the tower plus six. We check that this works for the values we already know. This tower is five blocks high, so the expression is blocks equals two times height, which is five, so two times five is 10, plus six, the extra six blocks on the bottom layer. This comes to 16, which we know to be the correct answer. Now we can use this formula to find out how many blocks we would need for any height of tower. If we wanted a tower to be 100 high, we would need two times 100 plus six, which comes to 206. The two in the equation is called the coefficient of h and tells us how much the number of blocks goes up for each increase of one in the height. We can also plot this relationship on a Cartesian graph. We will put the height along the horizontal axis and the number of blocks on the vertical axis. We are dealing with whole numbers of blocks, so we will use dots to show the relationship. This point represents a tower of height 1, containing 8 blocks. This point represents a tower of height 2, containing 10 blocks. This point, a tower of height 3, with 12 blocks, and so on. You can see that the dots form a straight sloping line. Every time the height increases by 1, the number of blocks increases by 2. This is known as the slope of the graph. This graph has a slope of positive 2. The 6 in the formula represents the extra 6 blocks we have on the bottom layer. Now we can represent the relationship as a table, an equation or a graph. This video covered using a table, equation and a graph to represent the relationship between the height of a tower and the number of blocks used in its construction. For more videos, see in the description below. Please like this video, subscribe, but most of all join the channel, especially if you're using our videos in your teaching. Help the channel grow and help me help more and more people like you. I am truly grateful for my channel members who help make these videos possible. Shout out to Miriam and Andrew who are super supporters, and a special shout out to my friend Storm who encouraged me to make more videos.